If you are looking to buy, sell or swap RuneScape GP, check out RS.Gold. They give you the best rates at a very fast respawn time. Their customer service is also very friendly and is there for you 24-7. Their company also hosts RS Jackpot which is a case opening website. You can earn some fast old school RS or RuneScape tree items. Then again you can use the coupon code NOOBS for a 5% discount so definitely make sure to do that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Yo what's going on guys I'm back with another video and today I am back on Hydrix and Hydrix is becoming one of my favorite RSPS to record videos on because it has so much unique content and so much different content and today I'll just show one of the latest new updates which is actually super nice. Now before we get into that I want all you guys to turn on the notifications make sure you are subscribed. Also I am hosting a $100 giveaway. Now for this giveaway all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed, um, make sure notifications are on and like the video and then comment your in-game name down below. I'll be making 4 videos this week on Hydrix and at the last video I will be drawing the winner of this $100 giveaway so definitely make sure to enter this giveaway, $100 is a lot man. So definitely make sure you are entered in this giveaway. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Now what I was talking about with the latest content that is so nice, they actually made content for beginner players to be able to make fast money and grow in the community. So that's actually super nice thinking about the new players instead of focusing on the players you already have. And of course, they still focus on the players you already have. They have a bunch of content for more... Um, veteran players like if you have a bunch of gear you can do a lot of different content but for beginner players they have this zone called train now this is one of the starter zones and i'll just show you guys how awesome this zone is so what you have here is the farmer and then of course the noob of zamorak now these are actually pretty nice npcs because they don't have a lot of hp they are a low level so they won't do a lot of damage as you can see 500 hp and um, yeah you basically wreck them super fast and as you can see you get coins each kill now 4k may not sound like a lot but on this game 4k is worth it and if you examine them you can actually see that there are a bunch of things you can get like it says rare for the pvm key the clue scroll and stuff and the start key but they are still super nice to get you also can get a noob key right here and then you have these farmers right here which can uh, drop a bunch of these seeds now some of these seeds are actually worth super much so it's definitely worth killing them and um, yeah then maybe selling your uh, keys to the store because as you can see you also get hydrix points from these which will be able to be exchanged in a shop but as you can see just from that i got all these drops just from one kill so i'll be going ahead and just killing a few see if i can get some lucky drops here and i'm not even joking guys this is like five kills in and we already got a noob key now the noob key is just an uncommon drop but still it's a super nice drop to get uh, let me just see right here so yeah the noob key is an uncommon drop but still I probably can open some really cool stuff with it. I think it's this one that you need the noob key for or is it something else? Um, let me have a look here. For this key, I uh, for this chest, I think you might need the starter key or the PVM key. I'm not too sure yet. But I'll be grinding some and I'll look if I can get myself some keys to open up this chest. And right as I turn off the recorder, we get a clue scroll easy. But besides that, we get a PVM key level 1. Now these are both rare drops as you can see right here. But let's have a look. Is the PVM key what you need here? And uh, No, so it's probably the starter key that you need to open up. Oh no, actually... Oh, you just need to use the um, noob key on this. And I got myself 3 crystal keys. Okay. But this is unlucky, so 3 crystal keys is unlucky, still you can get some pretty nice rewards from these crystal keys at home, so I'll be opening some of these as well then I guess. Alright, now what I didn't know is that this was actually a daily money maker method, and there are a bunch of these, but I didn't know this was one of them. So you, I killed no 50 noobs of Zamorak and my reward has been placed in my bank, so let's check that out in a second, but first I got 5 more noob keys, so let's open these crystal keys here. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, we got 200k cash or something. Still unlucky, apparently. Um, so yeah, we didn't get lucky at all, which I didn't think. I don't know what the lucky reward is. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and go to home and check out the bank value. And um, let's hope we can actually um, see what our reward is and it will be very good. So let's have a look here. 
So we got five one mil tickets and five starter keys. Okay, so five one mil tickets, that's five million. That's insane. I didn't know you would get five one mil tickets. So yeah, that's pretty sick here. Okay, so apparently you can use these starter keys as well at the train area. So let me do that real quick. And um, after that, I am going to open up these crystal keys. And then I'll be looking where I can open up these PVM keys because that's still kind of unknown to me. But let's have a look here. Um, cash, not nothing too special there. Kind of unlucky, I see. Can we get anything else? And oh, oh, we just got a, we just got a fury. I didn't even know you could get a fury from here. Okay, so that's actually super nice. Anyways, let's open up these crystal keys. So you can actually look what you can get from these. So you can get all these tickets. You can also get a fury from here. So if we get super lucky and we get a second fury, that would be insane. So, um, oh, I guess we use the keys on here as well. Okay, cash and these pantaloons. And, uh, oh, we got our crystal key back. Dragon mat helm, not too bad. Oh, we got a double spin ticket. Okay, that's not too bad. Kept our crystal key, got a PVM key level 1 again. Oh, look at that, we can assemble these, we got another crystal key now. And, um, okay, fashion scape, where is my fury plus? Oh, we got another double spin ticket, and, ah, oh, no fury, but let me just claim these. And, um, yeah, then you can use these on these spins, and I have 31 spins, which I'm not going to use all of them. But, you can get, like, lucky dragon claws, huge XP lamps, other lucky stuff, and, of course, I get a wizard jet. Yeah, uh, wizard had G. And I was actually blind because the PVM key is just right next to the crystal key chest. Holy shit, you can actually get super insane rewards from these. You can get like Torva, Pernix and Virtus. You can get these boots and stuff. Alright, let's get lucky hopefully and um, use our keys here. Oh, we need to click open here, I guess. And we get oh, a steel plate body, steel full. Oh, this is actually nice. You get multiple rewards from one chest. Oh, we got a dragon chain body. Nice, nice. Okay. So that's what oh wait what your your reward is an adamant plate body. Oh it's just that. I thought you got like everything. Okay, wow. That just got me so hyped for nothing. God damn it. Okay, so we actually need to watch the lost reward. Oh come on a dragon full helm there. God damn it. Okay, so lost reward's going to be a uh, rune plate body. Come on man. We need to get that Torva plate body right now. Upgrading from Adamant to Rune to Torva. Let's go. And um hopefully we can get it. Oh, another dragon chain body there. Come on. Last reward. Here we go. Oh, dragon plate lights. Okay, that's actually better than all the other rewards we got. So I guess these were sent to my bank. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, upgrading the gear from iron to dragon and rune. Now, besides the noob of Zamorax, there are a bunch of other daily money makers which you can check out by clicking on teleports and then daily money makers. So you have the hell giants. You can do some barrows. You can do slayer. You can do farming and another um, Xeric raids and a bunch of other things and you get some nice rewards from these as well. Now the training area is what I did and you get 5 star keys, 5 mil cash. Now you can get a bunch of really better things here. For example, wildy tasks give you 2 wilderness caskets which can give you some nice rewards. Raids can give you raids caskets and so on and so on. So yeah. Definitely really worth to check out these daily money makers and every day you can do these guys So you can make super easy money as a beginner player by just doing your daily money makers Which is super nice because they are thinking about all the new players that are joining the community um, Also, they are thinking about the players that are already in the community to gain more bank themselves as well But as you can see all these challenges have different requirements So it's really fun to do a variety of different things each and every day just to get yourself that bit of easy money and by the time you have done everything you can basically buy yourself some super nice gear to actually go ahead and do some high-end PVIing to make even more money so yeah that's super nice from them to implement such a thing into the game anyways this is where I will be ending off today's video guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button also make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have entered the $100 giveaway which will be picked at the end of this week on a video. So definitely stay tuned for that because $100 is an insane amount of money. Anyways, I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Peace.